Topic 5, Compound Interest. To find the compound interest when £6,000 is invested for three years at 4% per annum. First thing you need to do, there's two different ways of doing it. If you use it by using the multiplier method, we say the original amount is 100%. Because the interest is 4%, we then say the new amount is going to be accumulating by 4%, so it becomes 100 plus 4, which is 104%. And now we write 104% is 104 divided by 100. We then write it to the number of years, to the power of the number of years, and multiply by the amount invested. So in terms of this question here, it'd be 104 or divided by 100, which is 1.04. So the number of years, which is 3, multiplied by £6,000. So what I'm going to do now, I just mentioned, I'm going to open bracket, okay, you can now write, you can either do 104 over 100 by using the ABC button, close bracket, that one is to the power, so you can either press X cubed or to the power of 3 and then multiplied by the amount invested, 6,000. So the answer to them, it becomes £6,749. Point, and it's either going to be point to the nearest penny, either point 18, one eight, or point 19 pence. But because that's four or less, we round down, we keep it the lower amount. So it's £6,749.18. That is what the amount is worth. So to work out what the actual interest is, you then, to find the compound interest, you do £6,749.18, take away your starting point, which is 6000 so your actual interest is £749.18. If I was using the formula method for the second one, it becomes it's 100 plus the interest rate, so it would become 107 divided by 100, to the number of years, which is 2, multiplied by 2,500. Otherwise, you can use the long method where, okay, it's going to be your interest for the first year. Becomes 7% of 2,500 pounds. So depending on how you work out 7% of £2,500, alright, you can watch the percentage video for that. 1% would be 2,500 divided by 100, which is 25, multiplied by 7. So the first year, your interest is at £175. So after one year, we had 2,500 to start, plus the £275. You've got two thousand seven hundred and seventy-five pounds in. It. Whoops, I've copied that down wrong. It's one hundred and seventy-five. So if I add them together, it's two thousand six hundred and seventy-five pounds. You now then need to work out the interest for the second year. So to work out the interest for second year, is seven percent of. 2,675. So to work out 7% of 2,675, I'm going to do 2,675 divided by 100 times 7, which is £187.25, which means after two years, his investment is worth 2,675 plus £187.25, which equals £2,862.25. Let me just check by using the formula that I get the same answer. Open bracket, 107 over 100 to the power of 2 times 2,500 gives me the same answer so I know I've done it correct. When it depreciates it goes down 
So this time, instead of adding on the amount at the end of each year, you would take it away. If I was using this as the formula, 100% depreciates. Take away 5% is 95. So it becomes 95 divided by 100 to the power of the number of years, which from 2008, you've got 2009 and then 2010, is 2 and multiply by the original amount, 800. So if I was working this one out, your open bracket, 95 divided by 100 to the power of 2 times 800 pounds and the scooter is worth 722 pounds.